That morning, we went to the bustling Dumaguete public market where all kinds of local produce can be found. From seafood, meat, and vegetables to an array of goods for everyday needs. I met up with Day and fellow MIT awardees at the Painitan, a section of the market made up of breakfast stalls. Dave, you chose the right place to have breakfast. This is my favorite place. Mm. But it's great that you're sharing with everyone. Yes. What is your favorite order? So far, this will be the best choice. Okay. Puto and chocolate. And I also like this what we call sari sari. And sari sari, it's a mix of coffee, uh, milk, and chocolate. Okay. And I always pair it with our famous pandesal with egg and maling. Uh, pandesal for me too. I haven't tried that. <laughs> this is good. Mm. Everybody that comes here, you bring around here as well. Mm. Mm. I want them to taste and see the simplicity of the city. So early in the morning, Dumagetenias come over to have a sip of coffee and puto and chocolate. And last time, I saw even the mayor having breakfast here. Yes. So we sell puto, budbud. And what's budbud? It's glutinous rice wrapped in banana leaves. But sometimes my chocolate also inside. Everyone heartily enjoyed their breakfast as the stall owners whipped up plate after plate and cupfuls of everyone's breakfast favorites. It was also nice to get to know the teachers and other awardees while getting to experience an interesting facet of everyday life in Dumaguete. Another well-loved spot is a museum filled to the brim with World War II artifacts curated by Mr. Felix Catal. I was wondering, when did you start this collection? I started picking up the things from the ground before I was five years old. Before five years old? Yes, because a lot of boys lost their marbles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they are in the canals. Yes. But I also found bullets, box magazines, okay. grenades, and their helmet. Felix's father was a policeman and part of the guerrilla movement. His uncle was one of the thousands of soldiers who died in the Bataan Death March. And I made this as a dedication to him and to my father. And, and uh, he already had the commendation from the President of the United States, wow. signed by Harry Truman himself. This area near Mount Talinis was a battleground for U.S. and Filipino forces fighting against the Japanese. Negros was their last stand, so there were a lot of war artifacts to be found everywhere. Over the years of scouring the mountains, he has also helped the Japanese government locate the remains of 26 of their soldiers. So with all these things that you have, what will be your dream to find, to keep as a real treasured item? I have <laughs> four sons and only one daughter. Okay. They can continue my legacy. Yes. And this is the poem I made. Yeah, I'd like to listen to it. It starts with this. Everything you see here has a story. Mm -mm. It was my experience and my memory of how time flies. And quickly, without intention, you will become sentimental and attached. With care, my heritage and legacy will remain for a thousand years, or maybe more for generations to behold. The joy of these treasures lie in the promise of a bright and long future, of giving the present an inkling of yesterday, of being mesmerized by the beauty, elegance, and grace of a once opulent era. It is a rare find, and it is timeless. So you open your eyes wide and see the world around you, because the greatest secrets lie in the most unexpected places. 
and those who don't believe in magic cannot find it. Visiting the museum is a very interesting history lesson indeed. But I believe the real treasure are people like Mr. Kataal who values history and keeping a legacy alive. Hey, I got a confession. It was a big day for everyone as we gathered at the Foundation University for the awarding of the most inspiring teachers of the Philippines. I was in the company of educators from public and private schools, heads of colleges and universities, and teachers who would cross rivers and climb mountains to reach their students. They came from all corners of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, sharing one thing in common, the dedication, commitment, and perseverance to inspire and make a difference in their students' lives, even beyond the walls of the classroom. Jose Marie C. Roa, pilot and presenter, Asian Air Safari. Though hesitant to receive this award myself, it was such a great honor to be among the ranks of these heroes. And I'm very happy to see them get the recognition they deserve. Every place I visited and every person I met in Dubaguete had something to teach me. Seeing these places from the lens of their vast knowledge reminded me that the world is indeed our classroom and that life is a continuous learning experience. This has been your captain, Joy Roa. See you in the next Asian Air Safari!